the goofiest thing I've ever done. I felt like I was underwater. It was the coolest thing. It makes me feel all like sentimental. And in 10 years time, I'll be 30. Ariana, welcome to the UK. Thank you. Um, we're here to talk about Sam and Cat, your new Nickelodeon show. Now you play Cat mm -hmm. in there, who is an adorable yeah. goofy character. Thank you. Thank I you. loved her. Are you really like that in reality? I can be um, goofier at times, but Cat is is kind of the opposite of me. I'm, I'm a lot more reserved than, than Cat is. She's a little, she's very outgoing. She's um, she's quite loud and. Um, Shocking sometimes. Yeah, I'm a little more reserved and shy than that, but I love playing her I think that's one of the most fun parts of playing a character that's not Really like me is just getting to be different for a little while, but yeah, I love playing her I look at her like a friend. I don't know why like when I talk about her I feel like I'm talking about an actual person. It's weird. What would you say is the goofiest thing that you've done? I don't know. I'm goofy all the time. It depends on what kind of what kind of mood I'm in, but um, I Don't know. I don't know the goofiest thing I've ever done Ever? I have no idea. I don't know. I can't put a finger on it, but if I think of something in specific, I'll, I'll, I'll come back to it. Do you wish your character was cooler, like Jeanette's is? Or do you like how you are? No, I really, I, I love Jeanette's character, but I can't see myself playing a character like that. Like, I think that Jeanette was born to play Sam, and I think that I was meant to play Kat. I think that, um, I love playing a character that's so innocent and like a five-year-old in a 15, in a 16-year-old's body. Um, but I think that's, um, I think she's a special character, you know, I think there's more to her than just the, like the dumb girl at school or like, you know what I mean? She's, um, she is unique. It's just like a unique version of like the dumb character in it, in it you know what I mean? I don't know, I, I like um, playing her. She reminds me of a young version of Charlotte from Sex and the City. You know? Yes, yeah. I feel like when Kat grows up, she's going to be Charlotte. Oh, I like that. I like yeah. that you can see where she's going. Yeah. And obviously, acting alongside Jeanette, mm. who I believe is one of your best friends, you seem yes. like you have a great relationship. Yes. What's it like? The most fun. Like, it gets to a point where sometimes, like, the the crew and cameramen and lighting people will get a little frustrated because we can't, like, keep it together and, like, not laugh. And it's just a great energy, though. It's, it's like, a wonderful surrounding it. It's like a great place to work. And um, there's a reference to Justin Bieber in the first yeah. episode where you're uh -huh. sniffing his hair and all that. Obviously you've recently been on tour with him. Yeah. Give us a little insight into what that was like. Well I like didn't sniff his hair. I didn't so I don't uh, no. Um, insight on the Believe Tour? Yeah. Um, it was really fun. I, I, I did three dates. I did the last three shows of the Believe Tour. The first uh, wing of it anyway. Um, and and it was an amazing experience. I'd never played venues that big before, and it was just such a cool, like, cool thing. Uh, it was my first tour experience. I, I had never done one of my own. I had never really done any of that. It was my first time working with in-ears, too, like those little things you put in your ears. And it was just like a, if, <laughs> if it was one way to start, that's for sure. Like, it was just like, I felt like I was thrown into a big pit of craziness. But um, it was an amazing experience, and his fans made me feel right at home. Um, it was the craziest thing ever, and just being in a, a venue that like dark with all those lights and like not being able to really hear anything because you have your ears in. I felt like I was underwater. It was the coolest thing, and I don't know. It was just such a great experience. We'll just go back to the show again. Tell us um, what the best thing about it is, which is the reason to watch. Sam and Cat. Yeah. Well, um, it's very family friendly. Like I feel like all ages will enjoy watching the show, and um, and it's a really good time. Like we're very silly on the show. It doesn't take itself seriously. There are always tons of jokes that like break the fourth wall. You know what I mean? That like explain to the audience that like we don't take ourselves seriously, and it's it's really great. Um, and yeah, it means that it just make a fool of ourselves like the whole time. It's really fun. We just cause commotion and cause lots of trouble. And the kids are funny. The kids are great. Um, Cameron Ocasio, who plays Dice, is hilarious and very talented and sweet. And um, Zorin, who plays Goomer, is hilarious. And um, the whole cast is great and it's, it's, it's fun. It's a really fun show. And where's it heading? What kind of direction is it taking? Are we going to see love interests in it? Are we going to see anything like that? I don't think we're going to do too much of the whole love interest thing, but I do believe that something that the fans of Victorious have been rooting for for a very long time for my character um, is gonna be confirmed within like, it's like later on in the first season. Um, I think that they're gonna confirm that, 
we ha we're shooting the episode when I get back to LA next week, and I'm very excited about it because I'm I've always been rooting for it with my character too, and it's just very sweet. I think that sounds exciting. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. It's very sweet. <laughs> it makes me feel all like sentimental. And finally, just because you are still so young, where do mm. you see yourself in ten years' time? I don't know where I see myself. I'm not. I'm just trying not to expect much. But if I'm lucky, um, I would love to continue doing what I've been lucky enough to do for the past five years, um, which is just entertain and perform and sing and act and do what I love and be surrounded by people who are lovely and, and filled with love. And, and, um, and yeah, I would love that. And in 10 years time, I'll be 30. So hopefully like, I don't know. Yeah. You've got plenty of time to yeah. figure it out. Well, thank you very much for your time. Good luck with Sam and Cats. Thank you. And it starts. Thank and, you so uh, much. Enjoy your time in the UK. Thank you.